Good morning. It is 9.59, 10 a.m. on today, Wednesday, October 18th. I think it might be the 19th today, but I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I did my morning ritual, which is to do a few dishes and get my coffee going. Kettle's done. I'm about to pour my French press. Um, yeah, so I did that and I thought I would vlog today. I have some stuff going on the next few days. I have two knit groups, which is exciting. <laughs> I have one tonight at Necromancer Brewing with Kim of the Sip Sip Knit podcast and crew, whoever else is gonna be there. And I also have one tomorrow, which is my normal one at Yarns by Design. So I thought since I had two knit groups, I'm cleaning off my table, it's a little bit dirty. Since I had two knit groups this week and a couple of other things going on, I thought I would vlog. So here we go. We're considering this practice for Vlogmas because that's happening this year. Uh, yeah, what's what's going on? It's it's early. It's not early. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, which is not early at all. But it's early for me in that I have not been awake very long, which means my brain isn't working at full capacity yet. I just wanted to check in and let you know that we're vlogging today. I will get my coffee done and drink it or start drinking it and do my the rest of my morning ritual which is sitting on the couch with my cup of coffee for about half an hour watching a vlog not a vlog a podcast or a vlog whatever knitting themed video I feel like watching and knitting I usually do that for the extent of a video so however long that video is, is how, I, how long I sit and knit in the morning. So I'm going to do that. I, whew, my house is a mess. I hope you're ready to see an absolute disaster of a house all day because I haven't planned on cleaning it these next couple days. I'll be, be kind of busy and it really needs it. But it's okay. It's real life here. You're just following me around for real life. I'll check in with you again later. Welcome to upstairs. I have just finished watching a vlog from Laura, or by Laura, of Tiny Human Knits, and it was approximately 36 minutes long. So that was my morning knitting for the for today. 
and I wanted to show you what I was working on up close. I have my sock design. I showed you a sneak peek just a second ago, but I wanna show you up close in like lighting where you can properly see it. Those of you watching this vlog today, vlog today, are the first to see my sock design. I'm very excited. I've been trying to keep it secret, but I'm getting close now. I finally finished the leg, which is the hardest part, and the pattern's all good. I am on the heel now, so it is just knitting. I have to finish the heel, and then I have to knit down the foot until there's one last bit of color work, but I'm repeating a chart I've already done for that. So it should be going off without a hitch the rest of the way through the sock. So I need to finish this sample and I need to get working on my other sample because I have a second sample. Oh, I'll get that in a second and show you the colors I'm gonna use for that because it's even better in context. Uh, and I need to get that sample knit up. I just need one sock of each and I will put out a tester call, I think. I may try to put out a tester call this weekend I may not get the second sample finished by then, but I should at least be able to get it started, which means I'll have a picture of at least some of the sock. And I'll be knitting along with my testers so I can get the socks finished then. All right, here's my other one. Uh, I live in a house that's like a million years old, so it's, we have, I thought I heard someone come in the front door. We have creaky floors. All right, so this is my first sock design. It is yet to be named. It's got this gorgeous texture in all of the solid color parts. This is the color work. And then I have my, I love a cuff, an interesting cuff. So both this one and my second design I have going have interesting details, like in the cuffs like this. So that's that. This is the full color version, which is uh, four colors. And then I'm also, my next sample is gonna be a three color version. So wherever it's orange here, it's just gonna be all uh, the second contrast color. So it'll just be three colors instead of four, but I do love this pop of orange here. And the colors I'm using for this, I'm using two colors of Fiocolana Arvetta Classic. This is the main color, it is a navy, color 195, and then the pop of color here is color 252, this like neon orange. And then the other two colors I'm using are onion nettle sock yarn in this blue color and this uh, natural color. I don't remember the numbers of these and I don't have the tags handy. So those are my first sample. Sorry, I'm side lit because the window's here. And then the second, oh, should I give you a sneak peek of my second design? I think I might just show you the cuff of my second design. Because why not? It is a folded over cuff, so it's extra plump. Try not to show you too much of the leg of the sock here. And that's my other design. Plumpy. These are very textural. But then here I have the yarns for the second sample of my color work socks of these guys. I'm doing some problem solving in the heel because normally I do a fish, fish lips kiss heel, but since I'm writing this pattern, I can't use someone else's pattern for the heel, so I'm having to do a little bit of problem solving for the heel that I'm using. But it's going well, so. The main color of this pair is this gorgeous, like dusty purple from Onion. This is also the nettle sock yarn. And then the contrast colors are, the first contrast color is Fiocolana Arvetta sock in the color 101, which I believe is their natural colorway. 
And then the other contrast color is this color, which is a leftover. It is Coast to Coast Yarn Co. The, oh, what's the name of the color? This is leftover from her original mush, mushroom collection. I used this in my Slipstravaganza two years ago. Golden, golden, I don't remember, but that's what it is. It's the golden color from that collection, from my Slipstravaganza. If you go to my Ravelry and look up that project, you'll find the name of it. And there you go. That is gonna be my second sample. Now I need to change the battery in my camera and get to work. I have things to do today. I don't know exactly what yet, but there'll be things nonetheless. All right, I did want to show you kind of what I've been working on in the in the other time. I have an absolute disaster here in the studio today. I guess not an absolute disaster because I just cleaned the other day, so it's not that bad. But I have this suitcase open here. I'm getting prepared for a con. I have to go... It's next week, next weekend. Not this coming weekend, but the one after. So I'm doing con prep. And I have my workbench over here is just covered in con prep stuff. I have inventory, I restocked pens, I have washi tapes to pack up, I have been printing out print restocks, including a new one I have for Halloween, and sticker sheets, and I have backer boards cut up. I've had to, I had to cut a whole bunch of backer boards yesterday. My, oh, I don't know if you should be seeing any of that, but uh, I have my license, my sales license for the show, and I need to pack all of this stuff up today. I also need to make sure, oh, look at my plant situation. <laughs> I also need to make sure I have enough bags for the show, so I will need to make sure I gather up plenty of packaging supplies. And I think I need to do until I get new stickers in. I have ordered stickers weeks ago and they have just been in shipping limbo. In Pennsylvania, they are coming from Pennsylvania to me also in Pennsylvania. They just haven't left their destination. I don't know what's going on with them. So I need to check on the shipping status of that and hopefully they are moving now because I would love to have those. First of all, I would love to have them for my show, but second of all, I need to send them to patrons because patrons are due. Like they need them. They pay for them and they need to go. So yeah. Oh, also let me show you. I have here, look at this beautiful color. I can take you to a place where I can show you better. But I have a third sock design. I know I'm jumping around a bit, but, but this is how we do. I have a third sock design going. It is, I might cast it on ASAP because I'd like to put, uh, okay, so it's actually kind of a sister design to this one but it is just texture, all one color. So it's a simple modified version of this kind of. I might do a different cuff and I might, no, I think that's it. I might do a different cuff and I already have the texture of the rest of the sock figured out. I just need to knit a sample and put out a tester call. But since I have a knit group tonight and a knit group tomorrow, I think if, I start this today and work on it at my knit group tonight. It might go pretty fast. And then I could put out a tester call for both of them at the same time. I think I'd really like to do that. I'd really like to put a tester call out this weekend for both this one and this one. And then this is the color I'm going to knit my sample out of. It's a textural sock, so I really wanted something that was nice and tonal, but interesting enough that I wouldn't get bored knitting with it. Because like if I did an entire sock knit out of a commercial 
sock yarn, I would lose my lose my dang mind. So this is actually a merino silk blend, which is incredible. I've knit my sister a pair of socks out of this exact base from this dyer before, and I loved working with it, and they just look so beautiful. But this is the Silky Sock Base. It is an 80% superwash merino, 20% silk in the color Vintage from Big Sky Yarn Co. And this was purchased for me by my stepmom at her local yarn shop in Columbia, South Carolina, which is where I used to live. So these will be special. Would love to cast those on soon. I need to find needles somewhere. I have so many socks on the go. I honestly need to finish some socks before I start new socks, but I mean, what what can I do? Actually, I had brought another, oh, here it is. These here, I was planning on taking these tonight to knit group and they are my October striped socks. I know I was talking about con stuff and art stuff, but we got distracted. More knitting content is never bad, right? But these are my October striped socks. And I happened to get a lot done on these yesterday. I finished my clue two of my Twist and Turns MCAL early. I finished it on Sunday. So I've had, today's Wednesday, yesterday and Monday to just knit on other things that I haven't been able to knit on because I've been working on my twist and turns. So socks have been getting attention. But yesterday I got this far on the second sock. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 stripes done of the foot. And I need 14 in a piece and then the toe. So I am almost done with these. And if these can be finished, I'll have the needles free. So I guess maybe I should try to do this. I have, is there anything I need to do today that I could also knit while doing? I need to pack up all of my con stuff. I need a shower. I'll do, I was planning on showering around midday, like lunch break shower kind of thing. Oh look, you can see my fur. This is my baby this fern here. It was a, uh, I'm going off on a tangent again. Let me finish what I, let me finish my thought before I go off on fern talk. Shower around lunchtime. Before lunch, I can get all of my con stuff packed up, make a list of anything else I need to get packed up, check the shipping of my stickers status. I need to draw my sketchbook page for the day. I guess that's really all I need to do. Keep vlogging. Um, yes. So I guess I can take a couple of like knitting breaks throughout the day. I'm supposed to be keeping my phone handy in case I need to run to the yarn shop, but I'm like on call. But yeah, okay. So I'll try to finish this before knit group tonight. If I don't finish it before knit group tonight, I can take it to knit group, finish it there, and then I'll probably still have time to cast on these there because this won't take an entire knit group to finish. So that'll be that. I'll work on it a little bit here and there, wherever I can today, and then hope for the best. Start new sock sample. I can't believe I went so long against designing socks. Like personally, I didn't want to design socks and then suddenly I have all of these sock designs going. But that's fine, that's fine. I need to now finish my thought about the fern. <laughs> this fern, move you over here, is a baby and has had quite a time. This is a maidenhair fern. You can see how fine and beautiful she is. This was my dream plant. I wanted one of these so badly. They have them all over the conservatory here in Pittsburgh, Phipps Conservatory. And I love them so much. And I was shopping with plants, or shopping with my mother for plants in South Carolina. And they had some of these. So I got one and it has died twice. 
It died when I first brought it home because I was figuring out how to take care of it and then it died a second time when my neighbors had to take care of it while I was on vacation. Since then, I have brought it back and it is now this glorious It needs constant care and attention. But I love ferns, so I'm doing my best. All right, I am going to do my con stuff. I will need to do my sketchbook page at some point today. I am doing a little bit of art behind the scenes here. I am doing a challenge in October where I am drawing a sketchbook page every day based on a color. I'm actually doing a couple of days each day that I do it because I want to not fall behind. And I've skipped a few days, so I ended up staying right, kind of right on track. But I have this prompt list, these colors, and this pumpkin washi tape that I made. It's available in my shop. But I do like a page of each color here. And this one's like two colors. There's chartreuse and then there's olive. love yesterday's page and I need to do 19 and 20 today which are cornflower and lavender so yes I am going to start working on art stuff and I'll check in with you later probably after my shower <laughs> just kidding I have a quick check-in because I just checked the status the status of my stickers and they're out for delivery so they'll be here today i'll show you those when they come in they're gonna be super cute they are my september and october patreon stickers and i'm just i need this in the mail so i guess i'll also be doing that today i'll be packaging up patreon orders <sighs> hello friends it is now noon ish yes noon 30. <laughs> wow sorry i'm a little out of breath i just ran down and up the stairs but I took a little bit of a break and finished the foot of this sock which means I only have the toe left very exciting and I was just about to take a shower I did some packing of my con stuff and I also made some more sticker sheets but I got my stickers in the mail my stickers so, just a second. I figured I'd open these on camera because why not? We're vlogging today. All right. I make some stickers myself here, but the sticker vinyl that I use is waterproof, but not, I don't laminate it here. And the laminating stickers is what makes them like UV stable and completely weatherproof and scratch resistant. All of those things that you want for stickers that you can put on water bottles or on cars or on any of that kind of stuff. So for stickers that I want to be super durable, I order them and have a professional print them. But in the mean, like for all the other stickers that I do here, um, they're perfectly fine for like planner stickers and things stickers for like your laptops and your journals and all those th kinds of things that you don't need them to be like they're not gonna go through a dishwasher or be out in the weather they sent me a they sent me a flashlight <laughs> why would they do that uh yeah but i got my stickers <gasps> they look so good this is september here. Let me pull one out and show you. I have a sticker club on Patreon and every month you get at least one vinyl sticker and every quarter you also get a bonus. I will make a print or an extra vinyl sticker or something, whatever I feel like making. But every month at the very least you get a vinyl sticker. And ooh, they look so good. <laughs> September is a little chinchilla with a pumpkin. Come on, friend. You can focus. There we go. It's glossy, so it's having a bit of a 
hard time. Chinchilla with a pumpkin. He's so cute with his little orange outline. And then October is also here. And these are fun. And I'm so glad that I have these for the show next weekend. Ooh. October sticker is also glossy, so it may have a hard time focusing. There you go. A bat lady, a bat girl. She's very textural. Lots of uh, wet on wet painting techniques with her. But that's her. October, September and October. So I need to package up my Patreon orders. I already did the, prepped all the envelopes and everything. I just need to pack these up and stamp them and send them out. But before I do all that, I am going to continue what I was doing, which is taking a shower. And I might also grab a little bit of lunch downstairs. And then I'll come back here, up here, and I'll do the rest of my work stuff for the day. I'm so glad these came. I'm so glad. So, yeah, I'll check in with you all again later. I probably won't check in again until we're about to leave for knit group tonight. Because you're here for knitting content, right? That's what we're here for. So, I'll see you then. I um, forgot to film yesterday. It's okay. I mean, I forgot to film again after I talked to you the first time. It is currently morning, 8.59. I just woke up a little while ago and I actually woke up at a more reasonable time today than I did yesterday. And I have, I'm sitting on the couch with the boy. Hey Pud. Hey Pud, are you cute? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's my boy. My boy. But it's Thursday. Clue 3 was released. I have Steven's video up on the TV. And ooh, don't, my coffee table's a mess. Don't look at that. Uh, and I have started a bit. Now, I'm going to have spoilers in this vlog. So if you're not into spoilers, maybe you shouldn't shouldn't watch it, but I'm not gonna like be precious about it either. So this is your warning. If you don't want spoilers, I wouldn't watch the rest of this vlog because I'm gonna be showing my progress on Clue 3 as I go. Starting here in just a moment, I'm gonna show what I have so far. So I am currently 12 minutes into this video I skipped around a little, like I skipped forward ahead a little bit, I think. Maybe I didn't, I don't remember. I just made my cup of coffee and I am sitting down with my clue now. So this is what I have. Let me set you down somewhere. It's a flattering angle. But I finished clue two last Sunday. This is what it's looking like. I have over here on this side, this is where I'm starting clue three. That's as far as I've gotten. I wasn't gonna start at all until after I got my coffee and I got real comfortable, but 
he said pick up stitches and I had to oblige. So I am going to sit here. I'm going to knit a little bit on clue three. I do have it printed out here. I haven't even looked at it. Yeah, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to work on clue three for a little bit for my morning knitting this morning. And then I will go upstairs and get a little bit of work done today. I have a shift at the yarn shop this afternoon. I need to be there at four o'clock. So that's as long as I have. And Brad, it's Thursday and Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, TTS are short days for him at work. So he will be home around midday between 11 and noon, probably. So there will be some distractions, but I will do my best. I will film in Oakmont when I get there so that you can see like the yarn shop and stuff. And hopefully I can film a little bit at Knit Group tonight. I can't believe I just didn't film at Knit Group last night. I completely forgot. I should have filmed the drive because it was beautiful. The leaves are incredible right now, but I didn't, I totally forgot. And by the time I remembered to film, it was like, almost the end of knit group like the night was almost over but it was really nice it was my first time at that gathering and it was really nice it was everyone was really friendly i mean i knew several of the girls there already but everyone was friendly the new people that i met were really nice and the brewery was really cute and the beer i had was delicious and i don't usually like beer so that was saying a lot well, anyways, this lighting is very flattering on me. It makes me look super red, but that's okay. I will check in with y'all later. I'm going to work on Clue 3 and also the Crazy Sock Lady, K has released a new video. So I'm probably gonna watch that this morning too and have a have a double long uh, knit, knit morning because I deserve it. But yeah, I'll see you. I'm in the yarn shop. <laughs> I forgot to film again. I drove into Oakmont and I went to the jeweler and I went to the post office and then I came here and now I'm here alone. <laughs> so uh, I may have to hurriedly get off the camera if someone walks in, but until now, I'm, or until then, until that happens, I'm here alone. Um, it is currently, I don't know what time because I just walked away from the computer, but Knit group has not started yet. I got here around 3.30 and it starts at 6. So people probably won't start getting here until much closer to then. And for now, I am making a cup of coffee. Because I need some caffeine. I actually need to run out to the car. Because I brought myself some snacks for to eat for dinner. And I forgot them out in the car. So I gotta go do that. But for now, I ate a pack of crackers and I'm gonna have some coffee and hopefully that will tide me over for a minute. Uh, find a place to set you down while I pour my sugar. And put you there. That's a great angle. Love that. But yeah, it's pretty quiet here right now. Hopefully some people come in and I can help them pick out yarn for projects. Because that would be a lot of fun. That's always my favorite thing to do. Then I can live vicariously through people. Don't judge me for how much sugar I put in my coffee. Go cup, my Starbucks Christmas go cup that I keep here. So I don't have to use the disposable ones. And I have a little hot sleeve that I knitted. Use this thing. This thing lives on this cup. So, yeah, coffee. I wandered around the shop and did a little bit of tidying up. And now I'm just knitting until customers come in. And I am working on clue three. I'm this far. It's actually not too bad. 
like to work on. It's it's going pretty fast, I guess. Oh, it is 4.30 now. So maybe in about an hour, people will start showing up. But until then, I'm just gonna hang out and knit and drink coffee. So I'll check in with you maybe later. Maybe I'll, if I remember, I'll try to film a clip of like the shot of everyone knitting together. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, Bud. You want to say good morning to the people? You want to say good morning to the people? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my God. I accidentally hit a button on my camera. Uh... I'm up. I literally just got out of bed. I'm wearing my lodge sweater though, by Ozetta, because it is 39 degrees outside right now. 39 degrees. Which means it's dark. Also, don't look at my bedroom, it's really dirty. Um, I have to go drop the car off to get inspected this morning. And the way my mechanic works is I just take it in the morning and I drop it off and then he gets to it whenever he gets to it and calls me when it's ready. Oof. Good lord. I had a knot in my hair. But I have to let this dog pee first and then we'll go down there. But I'm just gonna take you with me. Let's go. Come on. Downstairs. Because it's a pretty nice walk back from the mechanic so I can let you guys see a little bit of fall in the neighborhood but it is getting a little bit bare the leaves and stuff it's still pretty nice though pretty nice so I just wanted to do a quick check-in before I head out and next time I see you will be on my walk home. I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to stop at the bakery on the way home and get a cup of coffee and maybe a pastry. Maybe you will see. But you'll find out quicker than I will, you know, movie magic and all. has been acquired. I stopped at the first bakery and got pastries but didn't get coffee. It's always a little bit more hectic in there. Also I used to work there so there were people I knew in there and I didn't want to like be in there too long. 
it's fine they're all very nice uh, but also the other coffee shop near to my house has more flavor options for their coffee and I like a caramel latte so I held out for that Ooh, that sun <laughs> but now I am a block away from the house I am on a street so sorry for the traffic noise also we're on my phone so sorry if it's a little bit shaky but I didn't want to carry my camera around so. if I vlog on my phone I can pretend I'm talking to someone on FaceTime <laughs> so yeah car has been dropped off I got pastries I got a coffee and God, I love having a coffee shop a block away from my house. It's so good. It's also nice having a mechanic only six blocks away from my house so that I can drop my car off and walk home instead of having to take the bus. That sun, oh, she, morning sun is intense. But real quick before I finish my excursion out, I have to stop in my neighbor's house and check on cats because we are cat sitting right now and they left last night, so this morning is the first time I'm supposed to be checking on, on those little kitty babies. One of them is actually a baby, a kitten, and she is so cute. So I'm going to go feed, scoop, and play with some cats real quick. And then I will be able to finally be home and knit a little bit. Hello! Okay, we're doing one last check-in today because I need to start editing this video. But I have some stuff to talk about. So, I'm back from all of my errands this morning. I'm still working on my coffee. It's so delicious, but I'm also waiting for my call back on my car so I can go pick it up. I have no idea when that will be. It depends on if the car needs anything done to it or not. Inspection day is the worst. I hate inspection day. But, I got some work to do today too, so I gotta do that. I am going to, I got ink in the mail yesterday for my printer, so I will be able to print some more stuff off today in preparation for my show next week. And I have been slacking the last couple of days on drawing my sketchbook pages for my October art challenge. So I need to fill out, fill a couple of those today on top of getting some knitting stuff done because I really, really, really want to get my sock patterns written up and tester called calls out for testers put out this weekend. So, before I show that kind of stuff though, I want to show you this. Okay, first of all, let me address that I for totally forgot to film at Knit Group last night. I did film those clips in the yarn shop before Knit Group started but it ended up being a really busy night of knit group since I was the one working slash hosting knit group. I was also in charge of like the register if anyone wanted to buy anything and there was a lot of shopping done last night. So I didn't get a ton of knitting done last night at knit group and I was busy so I didn't film a whole lot, which is great. We love business. But one of my friends at knit group actually gave me a skein of of sock yarn. She said, I brought this for you. Do you want it? She said she got it in the in a sock swap, but doesn't really knit socks. <laughs> so I think I might knit her a pair of socks out of it and also myself a pair of socks out of it. I think I can get two pairs if I use contrast colors. But look at it. It's mustache yarn. I love her yarn. And it's called Tokyo Go Go. And it's this really fun steely blue gray with like rainbow stripes. It's beautiful. It's so much fun. So that's my one little acquisition goodie. Also, quick update on the MCAL. I'm getting a bit of a later start this morning. It's 11 o'clock now. I mean, I also did errands this morning, so that took time. But I also got really close to finishing section, I don't remember the numbers of the sections. The first long dingly bit of this, of, of clue three. 
So I wanted to go ahead and finish that. I actually didn't completely finish it because I have to Kitchener the last six stitches together, but I'll do that right now and it'll be completely done. So it sucks that it's on the needles right now, but I did finish this guy. falling on the floor yeah so I finished this guy and I have to do another one but I knit most of this yesterday so I think I can do it I think I can knit the other one of these this weekend depending on my sock situation because I do want to get those test knit calls out um, but hopefully I can finish this second one this weekend and then I will have a few days to be able to do the bonus content because I think I am gonna do that but we'll see I may decide I don't want to I I don't know so I'm really curious to see how this goes like what we're doing with it because right now it's just a weird weird long piece <laughs> I don't know the way this is going I think it's going to be a really long skinny shawl because I feel like these stitches are live here so there must be something going on here like here but then he also said we were going to do something with these so I don't know I don't know I have no idea where this is going but I'm I'm making good time so I'm going to Kitchener these six stitches together. I will not put this away because I don't want to forget because I have the memory of a goldfish and I absolutely will forget. So I'll set that right here. And real quick, I will show you the progress of my sock designs. I have finished the heel of my color work design. These are like sister designs, sibling designs. But I have... My color work sock, the leg is completely done and the heel is done. The German short row heel turned out pretty well, I think. It looks pretty good. It, German short row heels are a little bit gappier on the sides than like a fish lips kiss heel. But you know, there's not really anything I can do about that. That's just the way they are. But I don't really mind it. It's not like they look bad. They're not big big holes or anything. Mm, excuse me. But I think it's looking super, super good. The color work is really interesting because some of the color work stitches are purled. So you have like variation in your stitches. And then it goes into this texture, which I really like, but this texture is actually the second sock design I have going. I'm designing a pattern, a more basic sister pattern to this colorwork one that is just that texture. And I'm thinking, I'm, I'm just in love with it. I love just a textured sock and something that's easy to memorize and I don't have to like think about very much. And this is, this is that. It looks more complicated than it is. I tried to put a lot of thought into like the details because I love that about socks. Like when the ribbing goes into the patterns. So I thought about leaving these ribs here going straight down from these ribs. But I thought it looked a little bit more interesting having them alternating because there are their opposite ribs on the leg and the and the foot and I just love this texture it's turning out so well and it's really simple in theory but I need to I haven't I haven't even started writing it up yet this is completely done on like designed on the needles I need to write it up and I need to double check my numbers for the other sizes and Hopefully I can get it finished, this one sock, so I have a picture for the test call this weekend. Sunday, maybe? I'll put the test call out and uh, yeah, so by the end of next week maybe I can have testers picked and have the pattern sent out. I don't, 
I don't know. I'll probably be doing it a bit more casually than like big designers because I probably am not gonna have a ton of people interested. So I'll probably just send out the pattern as I accept people instead of like all at once. So yeah. The texture really pops in a tonal or a semi-solid. I also really want to knit up a sample in a light color that's slightly speckled. And I have quite a few of those in stash in my spring uh, sock yarn shelf over here. So I might dig through that today and see what other colors pop out to me so that I can get my second sample started. I just love how this is turning out. I also love how this one is turning out. I'm going to be modifying the color work chart for the foot because I'm going to have another uh, color work section on the foot. But I'm going to modify the chart to be a little bit shorter so it's not quite as long. Because you can knit either section on the foot. You get to pick which one you like better. But I'll make it a little bit shorter so it's a little bit less color work knitting and I have to draw up a new chart for that so there we go I these are turning out so great so great and I love this cuff this textured cuff which is on this one as well they have the same cuff so much fun love how these are turning out very very pleased and since they're like sister designs, I want to release them at the same time. Was there something else? I can't remember if there was anything else. I showed you my new yarn, updated you on pattern designs, and on my MCAL. This is it. This is the last check-in for this vlog. I'm going to immediately start uploading clips so that I can start editing at some point today. But I think that's it. I am just going to work. For the rest of the day. I have been binging Sock Witchery Lindsay. I've been binging her vlogtobers because they're, I enjoy vlogs more than just about anything in the world. And she was vlog, she's been vlogging every day. But I was behind on those. I hadn't been watching them and so now I'm catching up and I will be having those on in the background while I do some some knitting work today while also intermittently drawing and doing con prep. But thanks for so much for watching this vlog. If you made it all to the end, good for you. And yeah, I'm sorry that I promised you at the beginning knit group content because that's the whole reason I was vlogging to begin with because I had a few interesting days of, of knit groups, knit nights. And then both knit nights I forgot to film. It's okay. Maybe I'll throw a quick clip here at the very end of me knitting like some outro knitting content for you so that you have something to take home. And I will talk to you guys later. I will see you next week with a podcast. And yeah, I hope y'all are great. I'll see you next time. <laughs>